I don't think you're gonna find anybody that will disagree with me on this one. Boys to Men is simply one of the top 10 musical R&B singing groups of all times. But what happens when you take and combine their incredible talent and musical genius with the sounds of the San Francisco Symphony? You got it, guys. You get an experience that is beyond words. Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you guys all about my experience of seeing not only Boys to Men, but the San Francisco Symphony at a recent performance here in the Bay Area. Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you guys all about it here in a second. What's up, everybody? <laughs> yeah, you know, this is my favorite part of these uh, videos. I love saying Andre Reese. <laughs> biz. That's right, guys. Not only do I do taxes, I do a whole bunch of other stuff. I sell online, Amazon, eBay. I help individuals that are thinking about starting businesses get those things up off the ground. I educate my clients and people that are coming in about the the ability to uh, write things off against the tax code and be able to maximize deductions, of course, you know, while uh, being able to build a, a business that's sustainable over a period of time. And as you guys also know, I was born with an incredible gift that very few other tax professionals have. I'm able to see tax deductions and business opportunities everywhere I look. And I'll tell you what, guys, when I was at this concert uh, with Boys to Men and uh, the San Francisco Symphony, I saw tax deductions and business opportunities everywhere. So I encourage you guys to book a consultation with me. Visit my website at andrereese.biz. You'll be able to see all the information you need to uh, be able to book a consultation. And one's about 195 for about an hour. If you've got a few quick questions you want to ask me, you can also book a session for about uh, 15 minutes, runs about 60 bucks or so. All right, guys, so this is re really the reason why you guys uh, decided to turn in, uh, tune in to this, uh, uh, this video here. You guys want to hear about my experience of checking out Boys to Men along with the San Francisco Symphony. And let me just say this real quick, guys. I don't even know how to even express myself. This incredible thing that I saw, um, this performance, all I can say is, wow. It was incredible. It was awesome. It was epic. And it, I'm just so happy and blessed that I was able to go see uh, the performance. Me and my girl went. They had a couple performances they were doing here in the Bay Area. They did one on Friday night and also on Saturday. We were lucky enough to go see the one on Saturday night. And I'll tell you guys, um, to be honest with you, I had made a promise to myself. I, I think I only, I've, this, this is really only the second time in my life that I've gone to the symphony. And both times it's the San Francisco Symphony. I think probably eight years ago, maybe seven years ago, I had a chance to go to the San Francisco Symphony and I checked it out. I had never been to the symphony before. You know, I've seen uh, people do things, um, you know, on PBS, et cetera. I may have watched some stuff on there. But there's nothing like going to go see the symphony uh, live. And when I went there, I had really no expectations, and I really didn't take the time to really understand what they did. But I'll tell you what, when I was there, um, I said I'll never go see it again because I, I, I'll tell you, my heart almost exploded out of my chest a hundred times. My blood pressure was through the roof. I felt at times that uh, I was being chased because the music that they are playing, it, it, is, uh, it is very, it, it's basically the same stuff that you hear in the movies. So when they're trying to set a particular scene in the movie, a chase scene or an action scene, or you see horses, you know, galloping across the uh, desert or the sand or whatever it might be, those are all, you know, uh, cinematic expressions uh, that are done by uh, or orchestras, you know. And so when you go and watch a show like that at the symphony, they start out very, very quiet in the very beginning, you know, very subtle, then it gets a little bit more stronger, and the intensity gets to increase, and then at the end, you got the guy on the timpani drums going boom, 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 <laughs> and your heart is just pounding out inside of your chest. So I said, you know what? I'm not gonna go <laughs> to this type of experience ever again. I, I, I said it lightly, but you know, I just, I, at the time I said, man, that was incredible, but I just don't wanna go through that level of intensity, you know, ever again, you know, so I pretty much have stayed away from the symphony and had other opportunities to go and kind of cheerfully declined along the way. But um, I'm trying to live life a little bit different now and, and try to do these different epic gallivantations that take place. And so the opportunity came up with uh, Boys to Men coming here to the Bay Area 
and joining with the San Francisco Symphony. Now, they've done other shows uh, throughout the United States before in the past, and I went online and checked on YouTube. They've done stuff as far back as, you know, 10 years. And and to kind of give you a background of Boys to Men, they, they got together, um, they've been performing now together for about 30 years. They originally got to school, they, they originally uh, joined together as a group. There was four of them. There was only three that are performing. Um, but they got together originally um, at a performing arts high school. And so they were exposed to a lot of different types of music at the performing arts high school. Not just R&B, not just hip hop, but, you know, Bach and Beethoven, etc. And they did a lot of performances uh, in front of crowds for at the high school with, you know, uh, an orchestra behind them playing. So this type of music here that they were doing at the event really took them back to uh, where their roots were, where they first, you know, built their bond. And it's, uh, you know, there's only so many keys on a keyboard. So no matter what type of music you have, whether it's R&B, hip hop, you know, jazz or, you know, um, anything that might be uh, coming from uh, an orchestra, there's only so many keys that you have available. There's only so many chords that are available. So the music has a lot of different similarities. And that's one of the things that they really expressed when they were up there on stage. And I'll tell you guys, it was an incredible experience. And I enjoyed, um, they, they probably played in total about 18 songs, including the encore. And, I'll, and there's a couple of carve outs here that I want to kind of show you guys in a little bit. I'll tell you about those here in a second. But there's, there, there's roughly about 18 different uh, songs that they played, um, the, the symphony that they sang along with. And they're all, of course, the favorites that you've heard over the last, you know, 30 years. I think the only thing that somebody may have wanted to be able to hear might have been uh, the, um, well, I, th I think pretty much everything that was there um, that, that people really wanted to hear, they pretty much played, um, except Motown Philly. I think that's probably the only song that uh, people may have wanted to hear that they didn't have uh, an orchestra a version of that to play and, and sing along with that. But, you know, like I said, guys, the, the, the sound was incredible. The uh, event was incredible. And, and typically, when, I, when you do go to the symphony, there's a, there's a certain level of um, decorum that you have when you are there in the audience that's kind of expected. And so one of the first things that they did here, they, they really turned this into an intimate um, performance. They told right from the very beginning when they uh, came up out on stage and they did the first performance. And then they uh, rolled into you know the, the in-between uh, song um, where they basically kind of talk about what's going on. They said that th this here, after they told their story about how they got together and how this is um, what's driven them to get to this point, they also said that they didn't expect us to follow the typical rules that you would find in a symphony. They wanted people to get up, they wanted them to stand, they wanted them to shout, they wanted them to sing, they wanted them to dance. And I'll tell you, everybody did that. People that came to the symphony really showed out uh, last night. It was an epic experience. The, the outfits, the, uh, the <laughs> I'll tell you, folks will be folks when they have a chance to come see Boys to Men. I mean, there was a little bit of everything that was in the crowd, and, and it was incredible. And I'll tell you, people came down to the front uh, where the stage area is. They danced. They did fist bumps. You know, there was a point where they were handing out roses to the ladies in one of the songs. You know, uh, and it, it was a very, very interactive experience. There's even one point where this one uh, sister came down to the front towards the end of one of the songs. She had, she took her shoes off. She was waving them at them. They were waving back at her. You know, they were acknowledging her. There was another couple that was in the front row that stood up. You know, and then they uh, they turned around. They took a selfie with them performing behind them. And then the then then the boys to men, you know, they they joined along with them in the in the uh, the selfie. And then there was a number of selfies that were taking place during the last song. They were walking along the crowd and taking pictures with the people. So it was an incredible, intimate experience. And uh, I would highly recommend if you ever get a chance. You know, everybody knows boys to men, Vegas. You know, touring around the United States or whatever. But if you ever get a chance to see them in this type of specific format, you know, uh, break the bank if you can and go check it out because it's an experience that you will um, definitely not uh, regret at all. And so what I'll go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in a couple of uh, videos here that I took at the, uh, the performance, you know, and uh, th one of them is, um, this This will give you a, a, a good idea of the power of uh, cinematic um, expression when it comes to s uh, symphonic music from an orchestra. There is one of the songs that they did um, that's from, uh, what's the song called? It's called Home is Where the Heart Is. And if you listen to the song on YouTube, it sounds nothing, well, it, there's a lot of similarities that take place, but it, I think the version that the San Francisco 
Symphony did in and of itself is incredible. It's epic. It's very upbeat. It makes you feel like you're riding along um, with a horse maybe on a beach, galloping, you know, maybe going to go uh, get the spoils of war or something like that. But you get a really incredible feeling that you're going to get from listening to this individual song. And I'll tell you guys, the, the, the performance of the San Francisco Symphony, I can't uh, I go beyond not saying this. They're incredible. All the different uh, people that were part of the uh, orchestra, you know, everything from the drummers to the, uh, the, the, the violinist, you know, the oboe players, you know, they had the piano players, etc. And even watching them, you know, after they came back off of the uh, intermission, you know, tuned to the first uh, violinist, you know, just to hear that. It's just an incredible experience. And I enc encourage everybody to go check it out. So I'll go ahead and, uh, like I said, I'll let you guys check out these two performances here. One is a cinematic version uh, the before Boys to Men came out and started performing again uh, in the second act. Um, it's, it's a song that's called Home is Where the Heart Is. It's incredible. Then I'll jump back in at the end and I'll take you guys out in the end with... Uh, one of everybody's all-time favorites, which is the end of the road. It's when Boys to Men is singing and, uh, and the San Francisco Symphony is performing with them. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back here in a second. I'll go ahead and play those for you right now.
All right, guys, you check that out. That was incredible. I, I, I keep listening to this performance and watching this video over and over and over. I just love the sound. It's, it's a cinematic orchestration of the music, and it's incredible. I just think, it, it, like I said, I encourage you to go find the original song and listen to it on uh, YouTube. And then compare the difference, the tempo, the speed, uh, the melodic tone, and then the upbeatness of the uh, the version that the San Francisco Symphony did. And I think it's incredible and, and beyond this world. So I'll go ahead and jump into the very last part here. And so make sure you guys stay tuned. Like I said, I'm gonna be uh, talking to you about an opportunity that's available to you that I saw in using my gift here to uh, be able to see opportunities that exist for tax deductions as well as opportunities to start a business. So hang on for that. So I'll go ahead and jump right now into the very last song that they came out and they did uh, their encore to, which is the end of the road. And it was an incredible experience. So stay tuned, guys. I'll go ahead and play that and I'll jump right back here in a second. All right. With that being said, since you guys won't leave, we're, uh, we're gonna try one more song. And, uh, you might know it, so if you know it, sing along. Here we go.
All right, guys, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, final performance there, the encore uh, that Boys to Men did, which is the end of the road. I'll tell you guys, it was an epic, incredible experience. As you guys saw, uh, the, the video doesn't do it justice for the feeling of the incredible sound, the immersion with the crowd and everybody that was there, the singing, the swaying. Everybody knew that was the last song, and they were just really there enjoying the final moments of the performance and just soaking it all in. It was absolutely incredible. It was amazing. And I would encourage any of you guys out there to get a chance to go see Boys to Men or the San Francisco Symphony in and of themselves separately. Go check them out. But if you can ever check out Boys to Men performing with any well known uh, orchestra anywhere, go see it. It's an incredible experience. I, I, I guarantee you um, it's worth dressing up for. It's worth uh, driving, standing in line if you need to, paying a little bit of extra money for the tickets to be able to get that unusual, incredible experience. Because when you take and combine two things, uh, two unique things, R&B and uh, the, the cinematic ex expression that you're gonna get from the orchestra, you're gonna have an incredible uh, music that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna spawn out of the, the combination of those two musical genres. And that definitely you know, happened here for sure. So I encourage you guys, whenever you get a chance to go seek out these opportunities to try to live life the best that you can and uh, make things epic for sure. And like I promised you guys, thanks for hanging on to the very end. Um, just real quick, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then make sure to like this video as well. That way uh, I get a chance to get a little bit more uh, people that are uh, uh, subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to get myself up to a thousand subscribers that way I can become uh, monetized. And of course, by you liking the video, it helps with algorithm getting the video out there to people that are going to find it to be interesting and hopefully they'll turn around and, and like what I'm doing here and subscribe to my channel. And finally, thing here, final things here guys for you. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, there's always business opportunities everywhere I go. I can't turn my brain off, I see them everywhere. I'll tell you, at the Symphony, there were business opportunities everywhere. There were tax deductions that I saw everywhere. And so what are those things? If you play any type of instrument, if your parents made you play the piano when you were a kid, if they made you pay, play the trumpet, if they made you play the drums, if they made you play anything, whether you like it or not, you can take that talent and combine it with somebody else and you, two people makes a band. And if you uh, learn some cover songs and you're able to go out there and put yourself out there as a band. I've gone to a number of different places during the summertime that offer the opportunity to watch free music in the parks. Even when I was leaving the venue, there was a number of kids that were outside that had um, orchestra instruments that had a little tip bucket and they were playing songs. They were out there playing their hearts out for, for money. So there's always an opportunity for you to take your musical talents and perform for other people and turn that into a business opportunity. And of course, as I was sitting there in the, in the chair, looking at what was going on on stage, all the equipment, all of the uh, uh, performance instruments, all the microphones, all the music stands, the pianos, 
uh, the different computer monitors, even the big timpani drums. That stuff is all deductible and expensable against a business. So there's no reason why you guys can't do something like that. And even, uh, I don't, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this one, but they had, I think, four Dyson uh, air purifiers up on stage. I don't know how that's going to purify the air for a, a concert hall that large, but even buying Dyson you know, air purifiers in an environment like that becomes a tax deductible experience. So you guys get a chance, you know, always reach out to me and uh, schedule a consultation. I can walk you guys all through the process of better understanding how to utilize the tax code and how it's written to be able to minimize your taxes and most importantly, um, be able to grow your business, minimize your taxes along the way and then develop, you know, a sense of uh, personal growth and uh, entrepreneurialism that you can only get from being self-employed. So that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap everything up. Like I said, remember, subscribe, like the video. And if there's any comments you guys have about uh, what you see here, go ahead and drop them in the comment section. I will do my best to get back to you. I appreciate you guys as always. And uh, I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> kick a hole in the speaker and jet back to the lab like uh, Eric B. and Rakim said a long time ago. All right, guys, take care, be safe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end of this video. Visit me directly at andrereese.biz. Four things to do, like, follow, subscribe, hit that bell. Stay safe guys, lift the glass to freedom, stay woke and don't get TikTok. Take care, I will see you guys in the next video.